What's up everyone? I hope everyone's having a great day. I decided I would do a bit of a different style for this video and rather than just having a song playing throughout, I would talk a bit. Uh, let me know what you think down below. I don't intend on doing this all the time, but I think I'll do it from time to time. So here I am just getting suited up, getting ready to get in the water. What's up YouTube? Back out of Silver Harbor Coast Stationery today. Let's see what's going on down there. This video is actually a combination of two different spots in Silver Harbor. Um, the first is more of a dive site and features wrecks, and the second is all about finding lures. So I started off by following the line here. I came across this crayfish rather early in the dive. I believe it is a viral crayfish, but I don't know for sure, so let me know down below what you think. Here's one of the small wrecks I came across. It was in good shape. I don't really know much about boats, so comment below if you have some fun facts about boats. I then continued on and came across this larger boat. After taking a look at this wreck, I decided to head back towards shore. On my way back, I found this health card, which was certainly unexpected. I got this old bottle and I got this strange plastic bottle with tape wrapped around the bottom and filled with rocks. Any thoughts on what this could be? The following day we returned and went in to look for lures. The first find here was less than impressive but still happy to get it out of there. This was a really interesting lure to find. I don't think I've ever seen a lure like this before. Comment below if you use this lure or you know what it's used to catch or whatever. This one came out easy. So here I come across an old net. It was tangled up in the rocks pretty good. It had a couple lures stuck to it, which I can't complain. I was able to get the vast majority of it out. At the very end of it, I did have to use the shears to cut it. It was stuck under some giant boulders, so that was unfortunate, but I was really happy to get the majority of it out of there. After the net, I went back to finding lures. I hear this lure is really good for pike. I've never used one myself, but uh, comment below if you use them and if you catch pike with them. As you can see, the hands are starting to get pretty cold here. And here's everything we found between the two dives. I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.